Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! We're going to be doing a quick tip on environment maps. Environment maps are a way of faking reflections. And the reason you might want to use that is uh, you don't have to use ray tracing. Uh, ray tracing can be expensive. It takes time to, to render something. So with uh, an environment map, you can get something that renders a lot faster. Hmm. So let me change my settings to the default load factory settings. Erase all. And I'm going to look at it from the front view by pressing 1 on the keypad. I'm going to move our cube up holding the control key so it just snaps in place and I'm going to add a plane that's going to act like our surface that's reflecting I'm going to press S 10 enter so I scaled the plane up 10 times I'll go ahead and throw a material on the cube make it red and then for the plane, that's going to have our environment map. So I'll hit zero on the keypad, look through the camera, and the cube's going to be reflecting in this plane. I'll add a material. I'll go ahead and call it map. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to textures, click add new, and select in the map. So at this point we need to go to map input and tell it that it's going to be reflecting. And what the reflecting will do is it'll actually move the camera, the rendering camera, to another point so that it looks like this cube is in a mirror. So the way it does that is it, it's going to we're going to want it to render from the bottom looking up. Hmm. So let me hit one. And here's the camera. We're going to want it to move down here and render looking up. The way we do that with the environment map is we select the camera and shift S will say cursor to selection and then I'll do shift A to add an empty and then type N and just stick a negative in there. That way our empty is sitting below the plane which is on the X Y axis right now but it's sitting in the exact same position of the camera but at the negative Z. So it's directly below it. Yeah. Go ahead and close that out. And then we'll tell the plane to use the thing called empty. That's the that happens to be the name of it. If I select this, you'll see. See, it's called empty. We could call it whatever we want. We could change that name, uh, but I'm not gonna <laughs> for the sake of time. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go into the render settings. And I'm going to have my render window pop up in the upper left corner here. I'm going to turn ray tracing off. And I'm going to turn oversampling off. I'm going to render it at 50% just so it renders quickly. Click render. And we see a nice black plane that's not reflecting anything. The reason that is, is because when the camera moves down here and looks up, that's what it sees. It just sees the plane. Yeah. So what we have to do is we have to tell it not to render that plane. And the way you can do that in Blender is we can move this plane to a different layer. You can see it's on layer 1 now. So I'll type M to move. And I'll move it to layer 2. And then it's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when it renders it, we'll be you know looking up like this, while the camera, other camera is looking down like this, and it'll look like it's in the mirror. So we'll hold Shift and click on this button so that both layers will be rendered. 
and we'll go into our texture and you can see down here for the environment map we can say don't render we don't want it to render layer 2 so I'll hit F12 and wow it still didn't work well actually this is a case where as it when an environment map is created it's rendered once, so it's not keep re-rendering. So that's how you have performance. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a case where you want to click free data. Free data clears out the environment map and will force it to render again. <laughs> Alright, so you can see there we've got a reflection. That's pretty cool. But yeah. it's very low res looking. So this is a case where you can change the resolution that it <laughs> renders it at. So I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to uh, 1000. And I'll hit F12 again. And you can see it's much clearer. Much crisper. Now lastly, since the environment map's just sitting on this plane as a material like anything else, we can go in our map too and we can say, hey, maybe let's <coughs> mix that not quite so much. And there it looks more like a softer reflection at that point. Right now, the, the underlying text color for this is the default light gray. We can uh, switch it out so it's, you know, green, render, and sitting on the green surface, and so on. That's environment maps. Mm-hmm.